We see the medical students when they start, start their first year here at the university. So for you guys, um, we're going to give you a glimpse of what they go through today. We're going to treat you like medical students, so you're on a university campus. We are here to um, explore the interactive operating rooms at the Cape. We're going to go through three different stations today. Just to see what the students, med students, go through when they come to med school here. We have a 34-year-old male. He was going up a 20-foot ladder with a portable saw in his hand, and he fell. His co-worker is in the ED room. Uh, she drove him here, and he's in a lot of pain. That's all I can tell you right now as we checked him in. Okay? So he's waiting for us. His name is Jordan Cape. Okay? Oh my gosh. Okay, he's bleeding. Vital signs, heart rates 97, pulse ox 99. Doc, what else would you like to do? We're going to give him IV. Most high school kids have no idea what it's like to be involved in, in medicine and healthcare. Do you know how your leg began to bleed? And I think this opens up a whole new uh, world as to what is involved in healthcare. All this med stuff like just really interests me. I could have never imagined technology like that. Everybody clear? Shot given, continue compressions. I had no idea that they could actually like simulate it like with mannequins and instead of like having to actually practice on real people. It was intense. I mean like you got some high school students simulating doctors. This guy's heart stopped, so it's like, what do we do? Do you feel no a pulse? pulse? There is no substitute for experiential learning, and the experience will stay with them for a long, long time. You can really hear him breathe deep. Um, they can breathe, they can talk, they can bleed, give birth. So right in this room, we have our famous birthing simulator. She was in pain. It was kind of, I think she was scared. I kind of chuckled at it. It's just like, huh. Yeah, that's birth. Breathe wow. in and out. We want to uh, maintain a system which brings the best and brightest to healthcare, recognizing that that will be a resource for um, the future improvement of, of medicine. I just birthed a baby and delivered a baby. You can feel the, the pulse of excitement uh, among these uh, high school kids as they get to experience it for the first time and it's a wonderful feeling. Pulse 99, blood pressure 84. This has definitely been like an experience. It's like one of the like coolest field trips I've ever done. Good job people. <laughs> okay, we saved the patient. <laughs>